no reservations. And there's our other Dave. Allegedly. Allegedly. <laughs> Thank you. I think that's all. Perfect. Cool. Thanks very much. I'll come back at another point for that. There's Danny and Sean. They're beautifying things. And there's Ray. Well, there's more than one. I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to hang on, hang on. Hey, he wants to come that way a bit. Engineering room, I just listen all the time. Yeah. Because I just, because I really respect your space, not because I don't love you guys. They're teaching me all the stuff they know in 15 minutes. Or less. Or less. Or less. Yeah. I think this yellow, I don't think they'll touch her anymore. No. <laughs> no, no, the 20 seconds. All the oh, foam 20 seconds. <laughs> around the inside. Mm -hmm, that is core. That is to deaden the air sound, the windage noise from the rotor. Yeah, it seems to be seems see this is. model is. Yes, uh, I don't hear it now. Noisy, yeah. no? At all. <laughs> nice. So it works. Mm -hmm. Foam your core. <laughs> Testing um, the conversion of the virus into real power. The first step is to test the uh, the transformer effect, and then second test we will um, um, simulate the resonance at the uh, at the primary, mm -hmm. and then get real power at the secondary. This is the secondary here, and then the test we're going to apply a voltage here. That's where I got it out. And we're going to make this resonate. The the bucking coils here resonate with the with the capacitor here. And then we're going to measure the the voltage and the, the voltage here, and we're going to put a load and make sure that we get the real power on this side. Jump up a little bit if we're anywhere near resonance. This is a group. One, two, four. 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 I know you don't want to do it to that beautiful table, right? Oh, it's a little used, don't you? Yeah, it is. Yeah, that makes it even more beautiful. <laughs> you guys. Yeah. <laughs> Some bonish. <laughs> I'm saying it, I'm saying it. <laughs> I 
going to do it. Nobody saw me do it. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't me. <laughs> now look at this guy over here. Can we look at you, John? Or are you incognito? No, not right. <laughs> okay. I think, uh, yeah, I think it is telling us. And the title of that card is Resonance. Is it from in your opinion, is it safe to say that this achievement of resonance in and of itself is a huge breakthrough compared to where we've come? Absolutely, because it means we found a way of creating uh, a parametric oscillation and have it stored uh, or in, in, in a form that, that can be stored and have another method of being able to extract energy from that oscillation. Mm -hmm. And it's a, just com a completely um, different way of viewing how to uh, store and use energy. Okay. Yeah. Hooking up the load bank. Um. <laughs> this cable plenty long. Do, do, do we want a goal, a goal roll with her? <laughs> yeah, let's have a goal roll. Yeah. Go on, go on. AJ's going to give us a goal roll. Okay, shall I say that? I don't know, yeah. Okay, so here we have the spark gap, and we were just playing with different shapes. Um, uh, to start with, we just had two separate wires, just like this. Um, as I say, we're just playing. The importance is that you want a very small smart, a sp a spark gap there, so you get a regular spark. If it gets too close and it's sparking continuously, uh, that's not what you want and if it's too far away and it doesn't spark that's not what you want either so you're actually tuning it to get it just the right distance so it's sparking every few seconds okay so one of the things that we are some of the data we're trying to record is to see whether the QED is putting out any harmful emissions. Um, we've been using things like Gauss meters just to keep a track of the magnetic fields and we've had EMF meters for the electric fields. Um, but we're also using uh, radiation meters for, uh, in this case, beta radiation, gamma radiation and x-rays. So we don't expect to generate any, but we've been keeping a track on whether they are or not. So we're just going to fire it up now just to see whether we get any um, any increase.
so there doesn't appear to be any detection there of either beta, gamma or x-rays, which is good.